Hello everyone, Pastor Carlos here with you. Um, I wanted to share something with you, which is called, um, what does it mean uh, that God's grace is sufficient, which is in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. As I was driving the other day, it occurred to me that maybe some of us haven't really learned what that means, that God's grace is sufficient. Um, and about our weakness and boasting and all of those things. So I wanted to share this with you um, for those of us that may not understand fully what all that means. So here we go. Um, Paul had many things about which he could have boasted. His experience were incredible. He lists some of them in 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 22 through 28 which he says, Are they Hebrews? so am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they offsprings of Abraham? So am I. Are they servants of Christ? I am better one. I am talking like a madman with a, for great labor, for more imprisonment, with countless beatings and others, and often near death. To illustrate that, while he above others might have reason to boast in his own flesh, his experience and his abilities, he would only boast in Christ. Paul recognizes that we have no real power in ourselves except for Christ in us. And he explains in Philippians chapter 2 verses 4 through 7, let each of you look not only to his own interest, but also to the interest of others. Have this in mind among yourselves, which is your Christ's Jesus, who, though he was in form of God, did not count equality with God a, a thing to be grasped, but emptied. Even that, even though, though he has a quite list of impressive achievements, he counts all of the, a loss for the sake of Christ. They are worthless, even when having negative value in comparison to the glory of knowing Christ. In 2 Corinthians 12 1 it says I must go on I must go on boasting though there are, there is nothing to be gained by it I will go on to vision and revelation of the Lord. Paul provides an example of how a person should not find his or her identity in confidence in personal achievements because God's grace is sufficient. While showing mercy means not giving to someone what he does deserve, showing grace means giving to someone what he does not deserve. God shows grace in giving us life, providing for us, and strengthening us for the path ahead. That grace is sufficient. It is all that we need. To illustrate principle, Paul tells of a man who was caught up in the third heaven and saw a her and heard incredible things. This man, remarkably privileged, and seemed apparent in the context that Paul is talking about himself. He adds that because of the greatness of the revelation he was given, he was also given a thorn in the flesh that would keep him from exalting himself. Second Corinthians twelve seven says, So to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelation, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan, to harass me, to keep me from becoming conceited. While Paul tells us that us very little about the nature of this thorn, while he also refers to us a messenger from Satan, he makes it clear that its, its purpose was to help him keep his humility. Paul begged God that this thorn might go away and God repeatedly said no to Paul's requests. God's response to Paul is found in 2 Corinthians 12 9. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weakness so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. God was 
reminding Paul that the strength behind Paul's ministry was not Paul's experience or abilities, nor was it the absence of difficulty. On the contrary, Paul's ability to be faithful to ministry and survive incredibly difficult times was due to God's grace. God's grace is sufficient. When we are weak, God's strength is even more evident. Paul calls, could rejoice and boast in God because Paul knew the power that God exerted in Paul's life through God's grace. Paul then boasted in God's strength, recognizing that even when we are weak, God is strong. He provides the strength for us to withstand whatever challenges are before us. Paul illustrates the same idea in Philippians 4, chapter 4, verses 11 through 13. Not that I am speaking of need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound in, in any in every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. He explains that he has learned how to be content in any circumstance, no matter how severe. When things are going well, or when things are going badly, Paul knows that the con contentment doesn't come from circumstance. Contentment comes from recognizing that we can do whatever God intends for us to do through Christ who strengthens us. God is so gracious to provide his strength when it is needed so that we can find our identity, our confidence, and our contentment in him. This is what God meant when he said that his grace is sufficient. It is all that we need. I hope this answers some of your questions regarding this but um, one of the things I wanted to add is um, when we go on about boasting God's um, about what, what we've achieved or what we could do or the gifts that God has given us more often than not um, we are being prideful or arrogant um, about those things so more uh, the more humble you are the more your fruit is evident the more your fruit is known and more people will recognize that you are indeed a child of Christ by the love that you share regardless of whatever circumstance you find yourself in or um, whatever difficulty you may find yourself in that you regardless of your pain you don't have to be one because his grace is sufficient for us. God bless you all. I pray that all is well with you and that all is well with your soul. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.